This is Net News Network headline news in three minutes for January 11th, 2022. The CDC has stated on its website that to control the spread of disease within their borders, states have laws to enforce the use of isolation and quarantine. The law also includes the use of police power functions in their quarantine stations. In addition to serving as medical functions, isolation and quarantine also are police power functions derived from the right of the state to take action affecting individuals for the benefit of society, CDC stated on their website. Prepare accordingly. Senator Jeff Merkley, a Democrat from Oregon, slammed House Speaker Nancy Pelosi for defending the kind of insider trading done by Congress on Capitol Hill. You and I would not be allowed to do insider training, trading. We would go to jail for that. Pelosi has a personal net worth of $100 million. Her husband's rich, too. Last year, Breitbart News Organization reported on Pelosi and her husband Paul making almost $5 million trading on technology stock options. Pelosi claims she doesn't own any stocks her husband trades, but she lives in California, a community property state. Everything he owns, she owns. Typical Democrat. Washington State now appears to allow minors to undergo life-changing gender reassignment surgery without parental consent. Under a new law, health insurers must cover gender-affirming care, including surgical treatments that were previously denied coverage. Democrats rejected a proposal to apply the new law to patients over 18 years old. It's one in a series of new laws that, taken together, allow children as young as 13 years old to make serious health care decisions. The government wants to be the parent of your child. Pfizer says it will have a Omicron-specific vaccine ready by March. So here come all the new vaccine mandates to get the Omicron variant of the vaccine. Of course, well, we should be two or three more variants deep by then. Pope Francis suggested Monday that getting vaccinated against the coronavirus was a quote, moral obligation, and denounced how people had been swayed by baseless information, quote, unquote, to refuse one of the most effective measures to save lives during the pandemic. Makes me glad I'm not Catholic, folks. Democrats are fighting hard right now to change the filibuster rules so they can enact federal voting laws to stop states from requiring voter ID and in-person voting and things like that. Democrats say that is voter suppression. Somehow it's okay for people to stand in line for a COVID test for hours, but you can't go stand in line to vote. One of the most important things you can do as a citizen of this country. Can't show your ID. Voting powers lie within the states, not the federal government for a reason. Filibuster should not be changed. This has been Net News Network Headline News in three minutes. For more, visit netnewsnetwork.net. Thanks for listening.